One of the huge concerns as a caregiver is whether the care recipient who may be at home alone is following on their daily routines. So in scenario one, the care recipient is at home and is meant to take a medication at 8 a.m. So what we have done is to use a commonly available motion sensor and if the care recipient goes, sits by that motion sensor and takes the medication, everything is fine. But if he fails to do that, the robot will seek out the care recipient and remind him that it's time to take the medication. Hey James, just a reminder, you haven't taken your medicine today. And it doesn't stop there if the person again fails to be there at the table to take the medication at a certain time, the robot will then initiate a call to the caregiver informing that the medication has not been taken. Hey James, it's Sophie. You haven't taken your medicine today. Would you mind following me to take it? Okay. In the second scenario, we have the care recipient, it's, we are kind of simulating it to be a late night or early morning scenario. It's 2 a.m. and the care recipient is impulsive and trying to wander out of the front door. It gets picked up by a motion sensor and it triggers the robot to drive to the care recipient and warn him that it's wrong time of the day, it's dark to be going out. Hey James, it's night time now and too late to go out. Please go back to sleep. And again, if he fails to respond and doesn't come back to bed or the living room and where a motion sensor does not pick him up, uh, then the call is initiated to a caregiver. And if the caregiver fails to respond, then we reach out to emergency responders. The neat thing about what we are trying to do is that the options are endless, depending on how much of the home automation gadgets that we can incorporate into the home. And depending on the need of the caregiver, we can scale up and customize the level of safety, security, the reminders that are required to ensure that the person is safe and independent.